How were you introduced to scouting? Uh, well, I lived in Norwich when I was a young boy, and um, quite close to us were two scout groups, the 4th Norwich and the 6th Norwich. Both of the groups had a drum and bugle bands, and they used to parade up the streets uh, on practice nights, up and down the streets, locally to us. Uh, in, in that area, there was Summer Street, Spring Street, Summer Street, Autumn Street and Winter Street. And the street after that was, uh, sorry, the headquarters of the for it was in Autumn Street. And uh, I followed them up one night and uh, found out where they met. And eventually I became a member of the Cup Scouts, or Wolf Cups as they were there. What were Scouts like when you were a boy? Uh, scouts, very similar to what you are now, but uh, it was the war time, 1942, part way through the Second World War, and we were very poor, and our uniforms were cast off shirts. I used to wait for my grandfather to uh, wear his long blue trousers out, so I could have them and cut them off at the knees because we wore shorts then. Mm. And uh, our neckerchiefs were green and you, you, it was never your own neckerchief. You took them home and washed them. Well, if you left the grid, then you added everything in. So that it was uniform for whoever yeah. And um, did you go to Beavers and Cubs as well as Scouts? Uh, we didn't have Beavers in that, those days. I think the Beavers are only about 30 years old, aren't they? And um, we were just Wolf Cubs in those days. The same thing as Scouts, or uh, uh, Cubs days. Uh, but it was run a little bit different. We used to do what was called the Grand Alley, which was mimicking the uh, the, the council rock and the wolves gathering around in a circle listening to the leader and we used to have a thing which when our care like we would do our best and they would say we would dog 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 and we would give to the table well dog 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 is do our best the first letter from Dog, dog, dog. Do our best. And Jim 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 is one of these uh, jokes that they, everybody has, all the comedians have it and use it whenever the scouts are mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, we wore a green cap with a wolf's head on. And uh, if you progress along, you know, it starts in the cap. You could represent the eyes of the wolf. We didn't have as many bounties as you. Uh, we had only 12 proficiency and badges to go for at that time. Three had a yellow background, three had a red background, three with blue, and three with, uh, I must say, yellow. Yeah. Anyway, there were three different colours and um, we all right. Why did you set up the Adlington St. Joseph's Scout Group? Uh, I set up the Adlington St. Joseph's. We got a new parish priest and he went round to all the people in the parish and visited everybody. Uh, whether he was Catholic, Church of England, Methodist. We didn't have any Muslim people about him, so not many. We didn't have any in Adlington. And uh, I was getting, I was happy with where Adlington Scout Group was going. So I thought, well, now's the time to start the group at Adlington and St. Joseph's. And that, that's when we started. Um, what gave you the idea to start the Scout Group? 
as I said, with um, having, having the Atlantic group well into the south and growing very strongly. Uh, and our new parish priest, that was the idea to move away from Abington. Let me carry on and do start the end of the day. Who did you start the scout group with? Uh, well, the, the scout group was started firstly with the parents. I got all the parents together. We, we put a list up in the church porch, all the boys put the names on, and I uh, went round to all the people that put the names on the paper and said, right, well, in a fortnight's time, I'll have all your parents, your mothers and dads, come to this meeting and start a committee meeting so that we have support from the parents right from the beginning. And that's the way we went from there. Um, what is the best scout camp you've ever been to? Is that camping ground or the camp I've been on? Uh, like a camp you've been on. Right. Well, the best, best ones I can remember really are uh, when I first became a scout in the fourth orange. We used to do an annual camp which had been going on for possibly 20, 30 years before. And um, the, what happened in them camps was that it was a trekking camp where we had a handcart and we put all our, our equipment and luggage on the handcart and we pulled it to around the country. And we went by train from Orange. God, we got on what was called the Black Road Church. It's only sure possibly a mile and a half from Orange, the Black Road on this rail route. And and family put on the quickly, and that was why they called it the church. It stopped so quickly. Uh, and then we went to Bolton, then from Bolton to uh, Chester. And then from Chester we used to get a train from um, or the train to Mould, Wrexham, or sometimes we'd walk from Chester. Uh, we would walk all day from, as we got off the train in Chester, we walked to our first campsite, had a night there, and then later on the second day, we would go to our permanent campsite for the rest of the week. That campsite was at a farm called the Yorkie Farm, Cargirley, North Wales. Uh, I've tried hard to find it since. I can't find a place. Um, have you been in the army? I haven't been in the army, no. I, um, I was in the building plate and I did the exams and things. And I was referred from doing national service. When I finally became 21, the, um, I was called up again to have a medical. Well, I was called up to have a medical. And uh, I had to apply for a day program, so I, I was refused entry to the army. Um, were you in any of the scout groups? Uh, yes. Um, from the Fourth Forest, I came to the first Duxbury, which is just down the road at Wigan Lane down. And I came out down the road on the uh, right hand side. The back of the, one of the poultry farms, as it was then. Um, I was there from 1949 to uh, 1954. Um, when did you get your wood beads? Wood beads? Um, it's the um, wood, wood patch. And, uh, when I first started with the, when I was training courses, 
would value those in three parts, part one, part two, and the practical part. And part one was where you went along to a training course and either spent a week or four weekends on camp doing the scouting and training. And um, the second part was where you did, you was issued with a list of questions and you answered them to the best of your ability. Um, you, you can, in, in a way, that was a, uh, an exam as well, the part where you answered the question on paper, all it. And then the practical side was where you did six months with a group on the section. Uh, I got um, part one and two in wolf cubs, boy scouts, senior scouts, and rover scouts. I never completed Wolf Cup, Senior Scouts or Rover Scouts. But I did complete the um, Scout full uh, patch in 1961 with St. Gregory's Hill Bank, just across the road. Yeah. Um, does there, was there anyone in your childhood that you yeah, the, um, the man that inspired me mostly was uh, Hot Pain. Hot Pain was the scout master. They were masters in many days, not leaders. And he was the leader of the uh, forage group. And uh, he, he was really a guy that impressed me very much. Sadly, he was kind of getting close to retirement when I uh, kind of became a, a box scout. So really I didn't uh, have much mainly dealing with him, but he did come on a couple of camps with me when I was with him. And what was the first scout camp you ever went to? The, the first scout camp would be uh, at uh, Dunham Park. Um, and again, we, we the marriage to Dunham Park must be what? 25 miles old. And we pulled that cake cart from Morwick over to Dunham Park. And we had a, a good weekend there. It was a kind of a county rally. Do you, do you fold your necker like big and folded? Yeah, the folded. Uh, my, my necker when I first started was a square neck tube. And uh, you have to fold, uh, iron it flat, then make it into a triangle, then fold it, iron, fold iron, fold iron, until you have a nice point at the end. Very much like yours. Thank you. Um, what what is your scout medal for? The, this one I have on is the Bath and the Medal of Merit. And um, it's uh, awarded for people that have done good service to the scout movement as a leader or helper. But it is an adult award. Uh, nowadays, People are, every five years, people are re reassessed leaders. Um, if the time is right, they'll be put forward for this award. And um, if you get, they'll get a five year certificate. I think there might be a ribbon. These are the ribbons to them. And, um, I think they get a five year ribbon and then a ten year ribbon and a fifteen. The, this one's for forty years and so the rest of what it is. Um, but the present time one has a number forty on it. Um, what, 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 what,
for like every, every, five, every five years, leaders at every time are reassessed. Okay. Thanks for answering the questions. Thank you for inviting me.